One of the great benefits of SharePoint is the ability to version your libraries and your lists. And what this means is that within a library, you can keep track of who changes a file, what they do to it, and when they did it. Same thing can happen in a list, although that doesn't happen as often. So if versioning has been enabled for your library, what you can do is you can select an item. When you select an item, in the uh, bar at the top here, you can go to the callout, and you can go down to where it says version history. So you can click version history there to then see what's happened. You'll notice here that it's going to show you a time. It's going to show you who did it and how things have changed. If the version had any comments added, you would see them there as well. Now, for library versioning, you will see changes in metadata. So if something changed for the metadata, you'll see right here that the classification was changed to business use. Must not have been listed at all before. Then here we have version 3, but we don't know what happened. To view a version that is a file, you have to click the little drop down and choose to view. And that will open up the file and you'll be able to see what happened. Now, there's a little bit of an extra work that goes into this because what you would need to do to see the difference between versions 2 and 3 is you would need to open up both and then you would need to use a compare feature inside Word or Excel or PowerPoint or any of those programs. So there is no native listing of what was changed within the file, but if you open up a file tomorrow and it's really messed up, you can go to the version history, see who made changes, view previous versions until you find a version that doesn't have those wrong changes, and you can then restore to that version. So if I wanted to restore this back to version 2, because version 3 was a mistake, I could choose to restore. Now what happens is that instead of deleting version 3, version 2 will be copied and basically pasted now as a version 4. So version 4 is really version 2, but it's now the new version. So you still can go back to the bad version, but now we've just superseded it with a kind of reused version 2. So you can see the versions for files that way. If you open up the details pane, as you scroll down in the details pane, you'll be able to see recent activity as well. And this, to some extent, is similar to versioning. So you'll be able to see who changed it when and other useful information. So I can go through and I can change that stuff when it was last modified. But the version history, whether by right-clicking to get to it or clicking the callout, is going to be your best bet for your library. Now, in a list, versioning is actually a little bit better, but it's used a little bit less. Most of the time in a list, you add something and you're done. But let's say you have a list that people might actually go and edit their records. Uh, I've used this in real life with time off request lists where I want to be able to see who changes things uh, for uh, registration lists or test lists or anything like that where there might need to be some sort of audit trail. You turn on versioning. So when you turn on versioning, you can take an item and just like we did in our library, you go to the call out and you can click version history. The difference though is that there is no need to view each different version because the metadata, the columns, are the things that get changed and you get to see everything right here. So it's kind of funny, in a way, versioning in a list is even more clean and easy to understand because I now know the initial version had this information, then version 2, product ID, was changed to Aramar 121, and version 3, product type, was changed to gadget. So that original one, I can see who did it, and I can see the time as well. Now, unfortunately, if versioning is not turned on, once you turn it on, you do not get the stuff that happened before, but you'll start versioning from that moment on. If versioning is turned off, you will lose all the versioning, even if you later turn it back on. So versioning is usually something handled by a site owner, turned on for a library or list, 
and it is going to be a benefit for people who maybe need to go back and see what happened to a file or see who did something uh, to a file. So there's really no way to hide, uh, no way to do things anonymously. So all the changes, all the edits will be cataloged and you'll be able to know what happened to that file and when it happened.